here we're being asked to divide a monomial by another monomial. It may not be clear that it's a monomial because there's a lot of pieces to it, but this is a one term and this is a one term. So the way we do this is we take 62 over 52 and we reduce that. So I'm gonna do that, let's do that over here. The easy, easiest thing for me to do is to um, recognize they're both even numbers, so divide by two. And then 31 is a prime number, so that's as far as we can go. So, and I'm gonna put the minus sign in the front. Then we've got P to the fifth over P to the fifth. Um, the, the easiest way is just to cancel those. When we, when we cancel this, we're basically saying you get a one. But since it's a one that we're multiplying by say the 31, I don't have to write it. Then you've got Q6, Q to the sixth power over Q to the eighth power. There's two ways to, to look at this. You could say, well, that's gotta be Q to the six minus eight, which is Q to the minus two, which is one over Q squared. So, that gives you a Q squared here. Some of you may want what I think is a more simple way to do this. Q to the six is Q times Q times Q times, times Q times Q times one more. Q to the eight is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're multiplying all these. And you could say, well, look, we can cancel these. And what we're left with is two Q's in the denominator. So hence Q squared in the denominator. Both of those approaches are, are valid. And the last thing is R to the 10th over R to the seven. That's R to the third power because 10 minus seven is three. Or if you prefer, imagine 10 R's multiplied in the numerator and seven R's multiplied in the denominator and then start canceling and you're left with the three in the numerator and hence your final answer.